So this is the guitar pick. It teaches you to play guitar. Uh, input screen for choosing the play modes. Um, and an auto strum, so you don't have to worry about strumming when you're first learning the song. You just worry about the finger placement. The basic way it works is the LEDs are both the sensor and the indicator. So when you cover one, it uh, uses the photoelectric properties of the LED to measure the light intensity on the LED and tell you if you're right or wrong. Uh, then it keeps track of how many right and wrongs you to the screen and the song. It takes you to your options. You can go through, make your selections, and then choose your songs. And then it starts the song and you go, and when it's done, it'll reset and go back to one. This is the indicator for an open string because there's no zero light. Um, so what that would do is you fl it flashes like that. You're supposed to take your hand off um, and it would see that all those LEDs have light on them. If you had a finger like this, it would detect that uh, decrease in light intensity and re -cue the note. If I cover the note, the servo goes. If I uncover it, it won't go. So not going, going. So you notice this is the sixth string over here, so that's going to be the one, two, three, four, five, the sixth fret when I cover it. So the auto strum here, uh, when you play the correct note, would cue automatically, or you can manually uh, move them out of the way or uh, pick it like this. For the auto strum, what we have are uh, six small microchips that are each controlling one servo through a pulse width modulation and those are uh, controlled from the MCU just on a toggle so it just sees a positive edge and will toggle that from one position to the next to, to pluck. Each servo has a trim potentiometer so that we can adjust between the splines of the servo and get the correct placement. Except for the LCD display everything is contained within the guitar. This is the MCU, the master control. It's doing all of the outputs to the lights and queuing uh, and pick to tell it to strum so it doesn't just strum every time it flashes light, but only when it's ready for the actual note to be played. We tried to contain everything within this, so we had to move components around. This was originally down here to plug into the amp, but uh, we wanted to make it so this could also just be a normal guitar, so we made it so you could quick disconnect. So this, basically, you can see the end of power indicator's off, so now you have a normal guitar just in case you wanted to learn actually how to play or you want to just play on your own. The lights are wired in a matrix configuration, so all the yellow wires are strings and all the green wires are frets. We were able to single out an LED by running the correct string and fret. So this is a sample of the PCB the LEDs are soldered to. Each one of these is separated off and placed within the fret. Um, each of these, this is the fret signal and then the individual string signals, so that sits right in there with the LEDs soldered to it. Here's our LCD program. So this contains all of our menu information. And as you select through the menu, it stores data bits into a single variable. And then at the end of it, that single variable is serially communicated to the guitar, the MCU. And then we also have another one for the display lights blinking. We've also got an audio output into powered speakers down here to give you feedback when you select the buttons. Yeah, so we have our calibration code running right now, flashing twice, and I'm reverse biasing the LED for 10 milliseconds. That puts a reverse charge on the internal capacitance of the LED. That charge dissipates as a function of light intensity striking the LED. So by measuring the time it takes to for that charge to dissipate, you have a measurement of the light intensity incident upon the LED. Reverse bias the LED, and then I check for, for that pin to reach zero, basically to dissipate the charge. This is the number of counts to dissipate. And there we're looking at 8,000. So I'm going to uncover it right now. And it got up to 20,000.